Hokey fan service and big budget battle scenes are no match for a good story at your side, kid. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 Star Wars video games that have better stories than The Rise of Skywalker. For this list, we're looking at Star Wars games that we feel featured more satisfying narratives than the final installment in the Skywalker saga. I want you to know that you have been a real friend or two. My best one, in fact. Number 10, Star Wars Bounty Hunter. Attack of the Clones was far from a highlight of the franchise, but most fans can agree that it introduced a pretty badass new character in Jango Fett. Evidently, LucasArts agreed, as the studio gave the Mandalorian, no, not that one, his own spin-off game. We'll have to split up. You see if you can get close to Gardula. I'll hunt down this gang for Jabba. Oh sure, you get to have all the fun. Set a few years before Attack of the Clones, this third-person action-adventure follows Jango Fett as he hunts down a dark Jedi across the galaxy. This is no throwaway plot either, as the game fills in valuable parts of Jango's backstory, including how he became the template for the entire clone army. While the gameplay and graphics are certainly showing their age, Star Wars Bounty Hunter gets high marks for letting you play as the bad guy. I'm sorry to hear about your partner. I guess you can't trust anyone after all. I should have known better. Number 9, Star Wars The Force Unleashed. No, she hasn't been corrupted. Not yet. She's just afraid. Long before Kylo Ren terrorized the galaxy in Darth Vader's name, there was Starkiller, Jedi Hunter and apprentice to the Dark Lord of the Sith. Set between the events of the prequels and original trilogies, The Force Unleashed is best known for Starkiller's fun array of powers and abilities. But what the game doesn't get enough credit for is its story. But wouldn't you rather die on your feet than drown in some cantina? I don't know. <laughs> Featuring both light and dark side paths, Starkiller's story is a satisfying bridge between the events of Revenge of the Sith and A New Hope and even acts as an origin story for both the Rebel Alliance and the Galactic Civil War. Now, if only LucasArts could take back that terrible sequel. Get, get what? Patience, boy. Number eight, Star Wars Battlefront 2. I'm gonna get what I want eventually. My best technicians are slicing into your droid right now. It took more than a decade to get a proper Battlefront single-player campaign, but EA delivered one in 2017. Well, for the most part. Got it. Yeah. Got it. Aiden Versio's journey from Imperial Special Forces Commander to Rebel Fighter is arguably more satisfying than Finn's arc in the new trilogy. We love John Boyega, but he really didn't have much to do in these films other than yell Ray a lot. That being said, Aiden's story doesn't quite live up to its potential either. It suffers from rushed pacing, an unnecessary cliffhanger, and an anticlimactic finale in the form of a DLC. But stepping into Aiden's shoes still made for a mostly thrilling, if too short, ride. Looks like you're still second in command. Oh, I'm patient. Number 7, Star Wars TIE Fighter. How are the repairs proceeding? Damage caused by the rebel attack is almost repaired. Excellent. How do you make the sequel to a beloved Star Wars game even better? Let players play as the bad guys. With state-of-the-art graphics and AI, TIE Fighter wowed players upon release in 1994 and is still widely considered one of the greatest Star Wars games ever made. But while everyone remembers the thrilling dogfights, one thing that's often overlooked is how good the game's story was. Yes, Lord Vader. My master. I have tracked Admiral Harkov to a Rebel space installation. Set between The Empire Strikes Back and Return of the Jedi, TIE Fighter helped humanize the Empire by showing that they're not simply cold-hearted villains. The game's expansions took things up a notch by bringing in fan favorite Grand Admiral Thrawn, which might just be one of the coolest setups of any game in the franchise. You are to be commended for your participation in this operation. Number 6, Star Wars Dark Forces. Certainly. Then I will let Jan brief you further on your mission objectives. Thank you, Commander, and may the Force be with you. Kyle Katarn may no longer be canon, but for a generation of Star Wars video gamers, he was the hero at the center of it all. 
The first installment of the Jedi Knight series, this first-person shooter introduced players to Katarn, a former Imperial officer who eventually joins the Rebellion after learning the truth about his parents' fate. While archaic by modern standards, Dark Forces does what it can to tell an interesting story, which was no easy task for a first-person shooter made in the mid-90s. More importantly, the game laid the groundwork for one of Star Wars' deepest character arcs, with Kyle Katarn's journey from mercenary to Jedi Master explored further in later installments. Number 5. Star Wars Rogue Squadron Moth Theoden. How pathetic. Allying yourself with those rebel criminals rogue squadron. At one point or another, every Star Wars fan has wished that they could climb into an X-Wing and fight the Empire like Luke Skywalker. In a way, that wish came true with Rogue Squadron. In this arcade-style space shooter, players take control of Luke as he commands his starship team in a series of battles against the Empire. The story picks up six months after the Battle of Yavin, and while it largely takes a backseat to the action, the narrative is more than just window dressing. It's a beauty. Unfortunately, the Imperials own it. They harvest the Tabana gas to use in their weapons. It increases their firepower. The game fills in some story gaps between Episode 4 and 5, helping explain why Luke is such an important member of the Rebellion when we catch back up with him in the latter film. Hey, where are you? Down on the ground, still waiting for someone to pick me up? I'm on my way, Kaysen. Number 4. Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order We seek a dangerous fugitive. This is no common anarchist, but a devotee of the treasonous Jedi Order. <sighs> Just when we'd lost hope of ever seeing a good single-player Star Wars game again, Respawn Entertainment swooped in to save the day. Set five years after Revenge of the Sith, the game follows former Padawan Cal Kestis as he and his allies attempt to rebuild the fallen Jedi Order. We're just... too afraid to say it. To the Empire, we're all just expendable. Yes, you are. <laughs> Though it takes a while to get going, Cal's story is an emotional journey on par with the best Star Wars movies, helped along by a terrific cast of supporting characters, including the lovable droid BD-1, and an epic finale we wouldn't dare spoil. Fallen Order is a standout Star Wars story we won't soon forget. Turn yourself in, or everyone present shall face summary execution. Number 3. Star Wars Jedi Knight 2 – Jedi Outcast Why can't you Jedi ever do things the simple way? If the ways of the Jedi were easy, there'd be millions of us instead of dozens. Just when you thought Kyle Katarn was out of the Jedi life for good, the Force pulls him back in. This installment in the Jedi Knight series finds Katarn working as a mercenary for the New Republic, having given up the Jedi life after nearly turning to the dark side. Fortunately, the reluctant hero quickly finds himself back on the Jedi path. Considering how long it's been since you used the Force, I almost expected you to fail outright. Well, um... What follows is a story of growth and redemption to rival Luke Skywalker's own hero's journey, only without the green milk chugging. While the 2000s controls and graphics are in need of a serious overhaul, Jedi Outcast remains in the upper echelon of Star Wars stories. Just be prepared for lots of stilted animations. Maybe, maybe not. But I know I won't be alone. How about you, Dasan? Even now, after all this pain, it's not too late. Number 2. Star Wars Shadows of the Empire You've informed Jabba's bounty hunters that Lord Vader's order to capture Luke Skywalker alive has now been changed? Yes, and no one will know that the new order to kill Skywalker came from you. While the Hoth level blew us away at the time, this Nintendo 64 and PC title was far from the best Star Wars game even at the time of release. A rushed development schedule had LucasArts scrambling to get the game out in time for Christmas. The result? Spotty controls, poor technical performance, and a game that didn't live up to its potential. But Shadows of the Empire was bigger than a single mediocre video game. Did the scanners find IG-88's exact location? 
Yes, sir. A salvage plant at the far end of the junkyard. It was part of an ambitious multimedia project that told the story of what happened between The Empire Strikes Back and Return of the Jedi. It may not look like it now, but this was a story that helped revitalize the Star Wars brand in the lead up to the prequels. I know Luke, but he didn't die in vain. Thanks to him, the Alliance no longer has anything to fear from Black Sun, and the Imperial computer he captured is being decoded right now. Want more video game content? Check out our gaming channel Mojo Plays and discover games and ideas you never knew existed. With more lists, breakdowns, and our latest series, Arcade Roulette. Justin and John are in! Oh. Hey, is that Porky off. Pig? Mm. There's a lot of things being ripped off in this game. Number 1. Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic Yet first, you must prove yourself worthy in the traditions and customs of our order, as handed down from master to pupil for a thousand generations. At a time when the prequel trilogy was causing many to lose faith in the franchise, Canadian developer Bioware released a game that reminded us all how great Star Wars could be. Set thousands of years before the Skywalker saga, Knights of the Old Republic pushed the envelope of video game storytelling complete with a climactic twist to rival Empire's famous Darth Vader reveal. It was Revan, Lord Malak. Your old master is with the Jedi here on the Starforge. Yes, that would explain why the droids failed. And while Obsidian's sequel, The Sith Lords, doesn't quite measure up to the first installment, the two games combined tell a story that could go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the best Star Wars movies. You cannot beat me, Revan. Not here on the Starforge. Not when I can draw upon the power of all these Jedi. In the mood for more awesome gaming content? Be sure to check out this video here on Mojo Plays. And don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.